Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Lady Nika, and with uh, a little uh, celebrity entertainment news. Y'all know I've been keeping up with this Wendy Williams debacle. I I've been front and center with everything. So, I wanted to come in today because I was over on page six, and I found an old piece of article that was interesting to me, girl. Now, the article reads, Wendy Williams... There is a hot place in hell for women who cheat with married men. Let's discuss the article a little bit more. Wendy Williams, who is caught up in her own cheating scandal with estranged husband Kevin Hunter, didn't hold back during an on-call discussion about women who cheat with married men. During Thursday's episode of the Wendy Williams Show, the host, 54, discussed Aisha Curry's frustration about women who tried to cross the line with her famous husband, Steph Curry, while she's standing next to him. There are a lot of women with no respect for marriage, Williams said, before pausing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women who know your, mar your man is married and will have the nerve to be right up under him, right under your nose. Williams aired a clip of Aisha talking to Jada Pinkett Smith on the Red Table Talk about a woman who flirted with Steph and proceeded to tell Aisha, Oh, honey, you know, uh, you know what you signed up for, Williams threw barbs. For you lonely girls who can't keep their hands off of other people's men, there is a hot place in hell for you, the daytime host said. Williams' comment comes amid rumors that her estranged husband cheated with her and a woman named Sharina Hudson, who gave birth to a baby, said to be his. The talk show, uh, daytime talk show host filed for divorce last month after nearly 23 years of marriage. Hunter filed his legal response, requested spousal support and child support for the 18-year-old son, Kevin Jr. Now, I feel him. Child, this is nothing but another way for Wendy to extract the pain that she is feeling in lieu of what has happened in her own marriage, but she spoke something very true. Back in my day, because I'm old school, we used to have this thing called honor. We didn't mess with other people's husbands. We didn't mess with other people's boyfriends, but some kind of way in this new millennial, it seems to be the thing to do. And the thing, let me backtrack. It's not that it's new. Because back in the day, you were not, you weren't proud of it. It wasn't seen as a badge of honor to be a side chick. Nowadays, it's, glor it's a glorified position. And I simply do not understand that because what's for you is truly for you. I, I wonder do these women think sometimes the same way you got them is the same way you'll lose them. I just don't know if they see that as being what it really is. Yes, if that man will cheat on his wife of that many years, why would he not cheat on you? And again, the same way you get him is the same way that you lose him. I just want to know what, what happened in the world that made people think that it was simply okay to mess with somebody else's boyfriend or husband. When did we make that a glorified position? What exactly does that get that per that said side chick to oust out another woman from what is supposedly her position? What you get out of that? I would rather wait, meet somebody, get to know them, be with them, and be with them exclusively than to no, a man is with another woman, be it wife or in a relationship, and adamantly go behind that man. I don't get that. That's something foreign to me. But that's it. That's all, guys. I just wanted to pop in and share that with you right quick, fast, and in a hurry light. As always, I will be linking the article down below in the description, I mean, in the pinned comment. Um, where you can go over and check it out for yourself. Also, weigh in your opinions with me. Let me know what you think about that. I, I get why she's saying that. She's speaking from a place of knowledge now, for real. <laughs> for real. And I do believe it's a special place in hell for women who adamantly go out and seek out men who are in relationships or marriage or married simply because you're trying to get a come up off of him. 
You got to know the same way you got him is the same way you lose him. You got to know that you will not be celebrated for doing something like that, but more or less torn down, disrespected, and people ain't going to trust you, girl. That's basically what's going to happen here. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Um, I will be going live from this channel tomorrow around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's going to be like a pre-Mother's Day um, chit-chat with me live. We're going to have us a good time. I do not want the focus to be anything negative. But if negative come to my front door, trust and believe I know how to handle it. So I invite each and every one of you within the sound of my voice to join me right back here on this station tomorrow around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time for a pre-Mother's Day Live where we just going to chop it up with each other you know we just gonna talk a little bit while swallowing a little bit i'm gonna have my drink and dank on on deck to ha talk with y'all and i'm just gonna spend time with you all who uh support and love on me truly plus i want to dispel the rumor that i only go live when i have some type of controversial situation going on or uh, if I need something. Nah, I'm, I'm straight up. If I want something, I'm going to ask for it. And it's up to you, the viewer, to decide if you feel that that would be something you want to do for me. But to play on your emotions and to play games, that's not where I'm at with life. I, I've been here too long for that bullshit. I know that you get, you know, you act, you receive not because you ask not. But right now, I'm good. You know what I mean? Um. I, I'll never say you can't, but I, I, I'm not going to say it's required. That's how I feel about it. But that's it. That's all, y'all. Be looking for the live tomorrow. Also, down in the pinned comment will be the article that I, I referenced in this video. And y'all remember the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate the video because ratings get me recognized on these YT streets. Comment down below in the panic section. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this situation, honey. And if nothing else, I will see you guys back tomorrow on this channel for our impromptu live. Y'all have a great remainder to your Friday. Be safe out here in them streets. If you in an area such as mine that has been under inclement weather warning for the last couple of days, please be safe. Take the necessary precautions. To ensure that you and your family can live through whatever may be possibly coming your way. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to talk to you later now. Peace.